Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We are Groundbreakers, a team of solution engineers from Austin and Reston Hub, presenting an end-to-end -end solution for supply chain management. Our team consists of four members, Chinmay Thakar, Naresh Bhai Sanodarya, Parsho Asha, and Barun Yadav. Let's get started and understand the use case. John is the owner of Alpha Grocery Stores, a company having a chain of brick and mortar stores at multiple locations that provides daily supplies. With increasing demand of products, John's stores is growing rapidly in sales and revenue. Alpha Grocery Store's current inventory is based on John's weekly order and consequent supply from the distributor of his choice. With the old system, the store always runs out of some supplies during the peak season and this affects sales which in turn leads to customer dissatisfaction and loss of customers. Recently, one of John's loyal customer, Taylor, walks down to the store and was looking for macadamia nuts, which he was unable to find at his store. John was running short of macadamia nuts and the next order for the product is not due until 4 days. Taylor was dissatisfied and went on to buy the product from John's competitor store. This in turn led to John losing a valued customer and lower revenue. With the current system, there is no way for John to keep track of the products in his store. Also, there is no way for John to find the right distributor who has the required quantity of the product within his budget and which can deliver in short notice. This has resulted in loss of business and expensive and inadequate restocking options for John, who cannot afford to lose customers with the increasing competition. Also, for a customer like Taylor, she has a hard time to find the right product. Our solution provides John with a snapshot of the transaction history across all stores while also giving details of live transactions happening in stores with an option to drill down into specific stores. The dashboard also provides expansion assistance to John with suggestions to open new stores and locations predicted by our machine learning model showcasing attributes driving the prediction. John will also have access to a chatbot on the dashboard which will assist him in finding quick details of inventory and trending products in each store. With macadamia nuts being in demand, the quantity of the product falls below a specific threshold. At this point, John will receive a notification of this event from our digital assistant on his cell phone. Our machine learning algorithm will also predict the required quantity of products to be ordered and will provide an option to place the order on the go. On confirmation, John will receive another message with a list of distributors and the score associated with each based on the price of the product and the distance from the store. John can thus select the right supplier to place the order and receive the confirmation of the order being placed, leveraging Oracle's e-business suit for order management. Now let's take a look at the overall architecture. The architecture flow starts from Taylor or any end consumer who buys products from multiple mediums such as brick and mortar stores, e-commerce, mobile phones, to name just a few. These real-time transactions are fed directly into Oracle's autonomous database. We have also included some census data into our database to train our machine learning models. With the autonomous database, we use multiple services such as Apex to expose our REST APIs, some spatial PL SQL algorithms, and other Oracle's machine learning for our prediction models. We also leverage Oracle Analytics Cloud to perform analytics on the gathered data and create multiple canvases to embed them in the dashboard. The application dashboard is a React application running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure's Compute VMs. Oracle's Digital Assistant is responsible for the chatbot within the dashboard and also for mobile notification system. Purchase orders placed are integrated with Oracle's eBusiness suite using integration cloud services. Today, for the first time ever, John is leveraging our solution based on Oracle Cloud, 
with end-to-end -end supply chain management system. John is excited to be back in business. Let's get a little bit more technical and look at the demo now. What we are seeing on the screen is a dashboard that tells me about transactions and sale happening across different stores on a day-to-day -day basis. Today, I am interested to look at stores specifically in San Francisco region. So I can quickly filter my canvas with region name as San Francisco. I can double click on transactions by store and see which product types are sold across different stores. Thousand California Street looks to be the busiest with highest transactions. Also, I can click on a specific store in the table and get other graphs filtered respectively with that store. The below line tells me about the day-to-day -day transactions for 800 Howard Street. Now, let me look at the live transactions that are happening across my stores. I have filtered my canvas to only show transactions for last three days. As I start my feed, Data gets fetched from autonomous database on real-time basis. I can see the activity happening across different products being sold in different stores. Let me drill into 800 Howard Street to see data specific to that store. We see 536 macadamia nuts sold in last 3 days, which is great as I get higher margin on that product. I just received an SMS on my phone. It tells me that the macadamia nuts that I was looking at on my dashboard are running out of stock and I need to order it soon. Let's see how Oracle Digital Assistant runs behind the scenes to help me order required products. I am replying yes to order macadamia nuts. The assistant now recommends me the distributor through which I can order the product. It gives me a score based on availability, price and distance. The first distributor has the highest score because of better price. So let me select that by typing 1. Great, looks like the order has been placed and the purchase order has been submitted to my application for reference. I can open my EBS application to verify the purchase order. Putting in the purchase order, I can find the details of the purchase. I can open the purchase order and look at the transaction details. Also, I can look at the product details under line items. Hereby, we can confirm that the order has been successfully placed in EBS application using Oracle Digital Assistant. Now that I have successfully ordered my product that's about to replenish, let me look at other products. The inventory dashboard shows current available quantity and predicted quantity for next week. I can also filter by a store and look at products that are about to replenish. Now let's go ahead and look at stores that are located in other regions. Looks like there are two stores in Boston area. Let me click on 987 West Street. The digital assistant gives me information like the store name, 
store address as well as the link of Google Maps to direct me towards that store. Now let's look at the products that are sold in that store. Among the products, I see tennis balls which are not sold in 800 Howard Street. Let me go ahead and see which are the trending products in 987 West Street. Looks like tennis balls are the most trending products in this store. Let me click on the link which takes me to the analytics dashboard. Here I can see different products and their quantity and sale amount. I can filter for tennis balls by clicking on it. I can get a detailed view of the weekly trend of quantity sold as well as hourly trend of transactions happening across that store for tennis balls. By looking at this, I got a good insight that I should start selling tennis balls in my 800 Howard Street store. Lastly, John can get an insight on his current stores as well as prediction of best location to open a new store based on data coming from previous transactions as well as third party US census data. The dashboard also shows the important attributes responsible for predicting new store location. To summarize, John can now get proactive notification of products that are about to replenish and can order them from most recommended distributor with few clicks. This leads to better supply chain management and happy customers leading to higher revenue. Thank you.